Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 17th of 2024 is titled Sky Full of Arcs. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the launch of a rocket. And you can see this is uh, over towards the right hand side as the rocket launches and then heads up and arcs off into space. Now it's not actually turning around there. That's actually heading up into space. It's just perspective of looking at it on the spherical Earth. So as it heads up into the atmosphere and looking at that in the sky, we kind of get that unusual perspective for it. Now the rocket launch is not the only arc we see in the sky. There's actually a whole bunch more of them and those are arcs caused by the stars. Now the stars are not moving. The stars stay perfectly still. In fact they move very very slowly relative to each other and not something you would really notice except over tens of thousands of years. However, the Earth rotates on its axis and therefore the stars seem to turn around the Earth once every day. And they will each make a circle around the celestial pole. So they will make the closer they are to the pole, the smaller the circle, the farther away they are, the larger the circle. However, each of those circles would take 24 hours. And if you had a completely dark site, no daytime, then you could leave a camera open for 24 hours and would get complete circles around the sky looking at the as you look towards the pole. Now for those of us in the northern hemisphere this might look a little strange because if you look towards the center there which is where the pole is there's nothing there. Now in the northern hemisphere we're used to having the star Polaris which happens to be relatively close to the north celestial pole. And it is a way to help us identify the pole in the sky because the location of the pole is not immediately obvious if you're just looking in the sky. So that actually helps to identify it. This is taken in New Zealand. So we are not seeing the North Celestial Pole, but the South Celestial Pole. And it turns out that there is no star that happens to be close to the South Celestial Pole right now. Now that can actually change over time over thousands of years, the poles actually wander. So Polaris happens to be close to the North Celestial Pole right now. It won't always be that way in a couple thousand years, it'll be nowhere near the North Celestial Pole just as it wasn't near the pole a couple thousand years ago. However, right now we have it relatively close. So it gives us an identification. Currently, there is no star near the South Celestial Pole and you have to use other methods to try to identify it. Now something like this helps because you can take an extended image and now we know exactly where the South Celestial Pole is. However, just looking at the sky, you have to use other methods from nearby stars and patterns to really identify where that pole is. And we do do that in the northern hemisphere as well. If you're not familiar with Polaris, which is not the brightest star in the sky by far, but it happens to be at a special location, you can actually use the stars in the Big Dipper to help you identify its location and where it is in the sky. So here we get to see those arcs caused by the moving Earth, the rotating Earth as it spins on its axis every day, causing the stars to rotate, appear to rotate around the sky. And of course, we also see the other arc of the rocket launch that took place just uh, less than a week ago. So that was our picture of the day for August 17th of 2024. It was titled Sky Full of Arcs. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a sunny day. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.